guys welcome back to my channel today is Tuesday so it's Tuesday tips day these are my top 10 tips for time management I was out on the baseball field and I was just thinking, geez, I'm busy. <laughs> um, I'm a stay-at-home mom, but I have two kids who are school age and I'm also a college student and a YouTuber and a wife and I run the volunteer program at the kids' school. I also um, am the troop leader for my Girl Scout troop and I am the team mom for my son's baseball team. And yeah, so it's just a lot of things that go on and I like to be very involved in everything that my kids and, do. Um, sometimes it's really hard to do the things that I need to do. And so I've been practicing some time management tips basically since um, school started. I started to kind of just work on my time management. That was a big goal of mine last year to get my time management down and I think I finally figured it out so I want to share it with you. My first tip for time management, especially for busy moms, but this can work for everyone, is to just admit that you're not gonna get everything done. It's not possible. There's no way that you can literally do everything but you can do better with the things that you have to do so that's what I try to keep in mind like there's no way that I'm going to have a fully spotless home have you know um, everything deep cleaned everything deep cleaned and perfectly clean and get all my schoolwork done and plan all the Girl Scout meetings and do all the baseball stuff and drive my kids here and there and go to all my doctor's appointments, all my dentist's appointments and take everybody everywhere and schedule everything and be able to get it all done in one day. It's not possible. You cannot do it all at one day. You can get it all done maybe in a week, but there's no way that you can do it all. Admitting to that is a big, um, it's a big starting point. My next tip is to plan. I know that planning has become a big deal. Even here in the YouTube community, there's a huge planner community and it has become a big deal, but I can honestly say I've been planning since I was probably in middle school and before that I do remember writing lists and stuff. My daughter does it, she's in second grade and she writes herself to do lists like every day. <laughs> so it's something that um, it might work for some personalities to do paper planning, it might work better to do electronic planning, but planning definitely works. Now I have a file of facts. Um, my inserts are happy planner inserts. I'll show you um, this is last week. My inserts are happy planner inserts, which I do love the happy planner inserts. And the happy planner is awesome. Just the ring bound didn't work for me, but it could work for you. And that's a very inexpensive planner. But even just like a notebook works great. I used to just use notebooks. Um, I didn't start buying planners again until a few years ago. Um, but when I first had my kids, when they were babies, I had notebooks and I still have some of them that were just like my to do notebooks. I would write the date at the top. I'd write down if we had any appointments and I'd write down anything I wanted to get done or needed to get done that day. And that's something that I think is great um, because then you have a picture of what you need to get done. Now using the calendar in your phone works great as well. Anything that will help you see what needs to get done that day. And that brings me to my next tip. My next tip is to start with the task that has the greatest impact, that will have the greatest impact. And what I mean by that is, so if if I have a big mess to clean up and then I also have to dust, I'll clean up the mess first because that will give me the motivation I need to dust everything because dusting is kind of a smaller task. 
So things like that. Start off with something that's going to have the most impact, something that you're going to see or feel the most so that you could be motivated to complete everything else on your list. My next tip is to create routines. I know if you watch a lot of other YouTubers like I do, you'll see a lot of people have their morning routines, their evening routines. I actually have a morning routine, an after school routine, and an evening routine, and I will share those with you guys at some point on my channel. Um, having routines helps you stay on track because those things become things you just do naturally so those things that might take up a lot of space on your to-do list for example unloading the dishwasher loading the dishwasher i don't know making your bed wiping down your bathroom those things might take space on your to-do list but if they become part of your routine they become something you just do naturally and they don't have to take up the space on your to-do list and you can realistically add other things that you might not be able to get done because you have to think so much about doing the dishes or the bathroom or whatever it may be um because you have to think about those things so much when they're not part of a routine and actually push yourself to do them, they take up space that you can have if you have a routine. So for example, in my evening routine, I always load the dishwasher. It is just something that happens naturally. It's become something that now I do while I'm making dinner. So I will get everything loaded up and then once we finish eating, we just put our dish and our fork, spoon, and glass or whatever we're using in the dishwasher. I close it up and I run it. It's so effortless, I don't have to think about it. So then I can take that time and I can use it for something else. Usually I use it to spend time with my family, but it is time now that I am not having to think about. If I have to think about loading the dishwasher, it becomes this big task that takes up time of other things. So having these routines helps these bigger tasks become something that's so natural that it doesn't take up as much time. Once you're doing it over and over and over, it takes so much less time to do it. So it's so much quicker to get it done and you have so much extra time to do other things. My next tip is one of my favorite tips and it's creating time blocks. Now this is something that I've always done. Um, I would say, okay, I have to leave in an hour to get the kids. I want to get this done. I'm going to give myself 20 minutes to do it and I'd set a timer on my phone and I'd do it. So creating just, I'm going to give myself 15 minutes to do this, 10 minutes to do this, 30 minutes to do this. Just blocking off your time to get different things done on your list works great. So what I used to do, um, and sometimes I'll still do it, I have a to-do list section in my planner, um, if you can see it right here, to-do list, and it actually comes, it's part of the Happy Planner Home Planner. Um, I will take my to-do list and I will write, for example, I need to, let's say I need to mop all the floors. Mop all the floors and I'll put I'll write next to it a number 20 and I'll say I have 20 minutes to mop the entire house so giving myself a certain amount of time and if you if it doesn't get done you stop I stop after 20 minutes if I did not finish that needs to be moved on to another day or time if I have time that day I will finish it if not it will have to be another day and that keeps me on track to get everything that I need to get done off my list so um, I've always done that. I've used a timer. Recently, I discovered an app. It's called the 3030 app. So let me see. Um, it's this one right here in the middle. I don't know if you could see that. And this is what it looks like. And you just create, you know, I can say film. And I'll just put this icon. And I'll say I have 30 minutes to film and it's on there and then you press start and it'll time you and when your time's up it tells you it's time to move on to the next task and it works wonderfully so it's a great app it's free they do have one that you can pay for but this is free in the app store I, I don't know if it's available for Android but it's definitely um, free in the Apple App Store so you should definitely check that out it'll help my next tip is to limit distractions this is something you hear all the time turn off your phone you know, get rid of the electronics, don't look at Facebook, just limit your distractions. So for me, depending on where I'm cleaning, I have different things that I do. So if I'm in the kitchen and I'm doing dishes and stuff, I usually have YouTube videos playing. I can listen to them, I can watch them, 
and it works great for me. Um, the other thing, if I'm in the living room, dining room area, I also put YouTube on or I put music on, but I try to put my phone up. Like I will just put it somewhere out of the room, out of sight. I get my tasks done. And then that way I'm not distracted looking at Facebook or Instagram or, you know, what Periscope, whatever it may be. I do have music on or YouTube on to kind of fill the void of having something going on and it's not like super quiet where I get a little sidetracked and I just work through it. And then we move on to my next tip, which is give yourself breaks. Um, as much as time management is important and getting things done is important, I know I have the type of personality where I like to get everything done. I find joy in checking things off of my list. Um, your sanity is more important, so make sure that you give yourself some breaks. So after I've put my phone up and I've limited my distractions and I've gotten things checked off my list, I will sit down for 10, 15 minutes and look at my phone and play on my phone or do whatever I need to give myself a break, give myself a chance to relax. Sometimes that means I take a nap. I don't, um, sometimes I don't sleep well at night and I'm tired so I get things done and then I take a nap before I have to go get the kids to, at school. It is something that you have to do for yourself because I've learned <laughs> over the years that your personal health is most important. If you don't take care of you, you won't be able to take care of everything else. So if you wanna get everything done and you wanna be very, um, accomplished you have to make sure that you find st you find time for yourself my next tip is something that i still struggle with but i'm learning it's learn to say no and i know that's hard especially if you're a stay-at-home mom um, to say no people ask for favors all the time um, but you have to learn to say no. And this is part of keeping your sanity. You can't add so much to your list that you're bogged down and you can't get anything done. Um, it's more realistic to keep a smaller list of things that are super important and get those things done. So a lot of times um, I'll be running around everywhere and somebody will call me and ask me if I could take their kids somewhere or if I can you know, do whatever I need to do. Sometimes it's my husband and he can tell you, I say no to him now a lot more than I ever did because he will come up with a random thing that he thinks he needs me to do. And I tell him, no, I can't do it today. If you need it done and you can't do it, I will do it and so-and-so day at so-and-so time, but I cannot do it today because I've already got my day planned out. I've already decided what blocks of time I'm giving to certain things. And if I start taking away from that to always do for other people, I'm not gonna be able to do the things I need to do. So I've learned that sometimes you have to say no as much as it hurts and it does, it stings to say no to people. It feels so horrible to say no to me people. But sometimes you just have to say no. And it's for your own sanity and for your own ability to get things done. And my last Last tip is to multitask. This is something that is not um, always possible, but for things like taking the kids to the doctor where you have to sit in the waiting room for a while or even yourself to the doctor, um, sitting in carpool line, pick kids up, things like that when you're in line somewhere, there's other things you could be doing that could be knocking things off of my list. So for example, when I am sitting in the carpool line waiting for the kids, a lot of times I will read my textbook from school or watch like the instructional videos that I need to watch for class. I can watch those in the carpool line. I can also write thank you notes. I can um, plan if I need to plan. Just certain things like that that you need to sit down and do. You can do while you're waiting for other things that are on your list like appointments or carpool pickup. So those are my top 10 tips for time management. I hope that these tips were helpful to you in some way. What are your tips for time management? Do you have any um, anything different that maybe I could be trying? As much as I've gotten better, there's always room for improvement and I wanna be better at what I'm doing. So leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have any tips for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys. What's inside the burritos? Inside the burritos is...